What's up you guys, it's Graham here. So I read a really interesting article the other day that showcased the difference between the net worth of a plumber and that of a doctor. And the results were actually pretty surprising of who actually ends up having a higher net worth and at what age both careers balance out in terms of wealth. And the result is likely not what you'd expect. So before I get into that, as always, if you enjoy videos like this, make sure to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and then if you have any ideas for future videos, make sure to comment down below. Let me know what your ideas are and I'll make sure to incorporate them in future videos. So let's get to it. Okay, so here's the experiment. You have two people both starting off at the age of 18. One wants to be a plumber, one wants to be a doctor. Who is gonna end up having a higher net worth, all things considered? Now, to do these calculations for congruency, we're going to assume that each profession saves and invests 50% of their take home salary. We're also going to assume that the money that they invest is gonna be getting an 8% return. I'm also considering that each profession has pay increases that also increase with inflation. So let's start out with the plumber first. The plumber starts out at the age of 18, making $12 an hour working as a plumber's apprentice. We can also assume a 50 hour work week at $12 an hour, meaning that our plumber is probably gonna be pulling in about $2,400 a month, or $2,000 a month after taxes. If he invests 50% of that, we can assume that the plumber in the very beginning is able to invest $1,000 per month. Now, because the plumber never went to college, there are no student loans, there's no debt, and the plumber could begin making and investing money right off the bat. So now let's flash forward four years. Our plumber is now 22 years old and making $5,000 a month before taxes or $4,000 a month after taxes, meaning the plumber is gonna be able to invest $2,000 per month. Then let's flash forward 10 years. The plumber is now 32 years old, making $100,000 before taxes, $70,000 after taxes, and can save and invest $3,000 per month. So let's start here. At the age of 22, our plumber should be worth almost $60,000, and that's four years of investing, $1,000 per month at an 8% return. Then at the age of 28, our plumber should be worth almost $290,000. This is the base $60,000 that the plumber was worth at the age of 22, plus then investing $2,000 a month over the additional few years at an 8% return. Now let's flash forward and the plumber is now 50 years old. The plumber is now worth 3.8, you ready for this? Million dollars. This is the plumber's $290,000 base plus $3,000 per month invested over 22 years at an 8% return. Let that sink in for a second. A plumber worth $3.8 million just by saving and investing over the course of his career. So our 18 year old plumber became a 50 year old multi-millionaire. So now let's compare this with our doctor. Now the doctor is a little bit different because the doctor doesn't start saving and investing until much later in life. So let's assume that our doctor has four years of an undergraduate education that costs $20,000 a year. And let's also assume that the doctor pays down the student loans before investing anything. So this means at the age of 22, after four years of a college degree, our doctor is going to be worth negative $80,000. Then after those four years of undergraduate, the doctor is then gonna have to go to four years of medical school. Let's then assume that each year medical school is going to cost this doctor $50,000 per year. This means that at the age of 26, after four years of undergraduate, four years of medical school, the doctor is going to be worth negative $280,000. This is without earning or investing a single dime. Now I'm not including interest payments on the debt or cost of living just to keep this simple. Then after eight years of school and $280,000 of debt, the doctor is then gonna go between three and five years of residency. So let's assume four years of residency and each year of residency pays $60,000 before taxes or $50,000 after taxes. So now flash forward, our doctor's 30 years old. Our doctor has completed four years of undergraduate, four years of medical, four years of residency. And during those four years of residency, the doctor was able to pay down the student loans by $100,000, leaving his total net worth at the age of 30 as negative $180,000. But after residency, the doctor all of a sudden starts earning a lot more money at the age of 31. Now remember, our plumber's the same age and making $100,000 before taxes. 
Our doctor, on the other hand, is going to make $320,000 before taxes or $250,000 after taxes. Now remember, of that $250,000 after taxes, half of that is going to be going to pay down the student loan. So with that math, at the age of 32, our doctor is going to have all the student loans paid off and a net worth of $75,000. So now at the age of 40, assuming the doctor is still making $320,000 a year before taxes and investing half of his take home pay, the doctor will then have a net worth of $1,575,000. And keep in mind, this is at the age of 40. So now let's say at the age of 40, our doctor gets another pay raise from $320,000 to $450,000 a year before taxes. Now let's assume that's $350,000 after taxes and the doctor can continues to invest half of it. By the age of 50 years old, our doctor is going to be worth $6.1 million or $2.3 million more than the plumber. Now this is where it gets super interesting. The break even point between when the plumber and when the doctor are worth exactly the same is at the age of 42. This means that both professions that took wildly drastic paths are worth exactly the same at this point. Now there are some variables here that could impact things drastically like the plumber could have started their own business and made even more money and invested even more money. The doctor could end up with way more debt that takes way longer to pay off or the doctor could have ended up earning way more money than $320,000. The doctor could maybe earn $500,000 per year. So either profession could really swing wildly in each direction. I also understand that the doctor could have a higher quality of life with a lot more discretionary income to spend. But this doesn't really include all the hours worked as a doctor and how that might be a lot more demanding than that of a plumber or all the unpaid time in medical school that the doctor has spent studying and working. So there are some variables between the two that could swing things either way. Now I also understand that most most people that go into medicine don't do it for the money and they do it because they really enjoy it and they enjoy helping people. But there are people out there that just think that becoming a doctor is going to be a surefire way to make the most money possible and this isn't always the case. Although the entire point of this video is just to illustrate that the prestige of a career has less of an impact than just saving and investing consistently early on and how that really has the biggest impact. It doesn't really matter what you do or where you went to school you still have the potential to be wealthy and financially independent later on in life. So as always you guys, thank you so much for watching. Now if you haven't already subscribed and my analytics show that 56% of you watching are not subscribed, come on you guys, click that little subscribe button, just click it, just click it, you won't regret it, promise, promise. All right, thanks for subscribing. If you enjoyed this video too, make sure to leave a like. I really appreciate it. I love, I love seeing all the likes and stuff like that. And feel free to comment too. I read every single comment. I do my best to almost respond to everybody. So make sure to comment down below. Also feel free to add me on Snapchat and Instagram. I post there pretty much daily. So if you wanna be a part of it there, feel free to add me there. As always, thank you again for watching and until next time.